What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you the process of me redoing this control panel. This is a cabaret. You can see there's a lot of imperfections. We're going to remove all the bolts. We're going to get all that old glue off. We're going to repaint this thing and uh, make it look like new again. So what we're using to remove the glue is this rapid remover. That really attacks that glue very well. So my dad, then we're going to sand it with a DA, that's a snap-on DA, you can see, that's 80 grit, and that will definitely do the job for us to get that back down to bare metal. Now we didn't have to remove it completely, but you can see now it's in my booth ready for primer. We sanded it all down, got all the gouges, I'm even painting the backside. It's hanging in ready for primer, and that's going to fill any little voids because this is a high build primer and it's going to do a great job. Once I sand that back down we prep solve it because you have some oils in your hands and then I use this high build primer. Now this stuff is reduced with lacquer thinner. You can see one and a quarter to one part. I usually do a one to one mix and I'm spraying it with my gun. Now the general tip is a 1.3 and you can see right there that's a 1.3 but for this primer because it's a little heavier I'm going with a 2.2 which is a little more open of a nozzle and a bigger needle so I can spray that material on a little faster so you replace the needle the tip and here I am priming this thing I put two coats and you can see now that it's nice and filled now this stuff dries so quick that in about 30 to 45 minutes I could literally go over and paint this I'm going to scuff it back down with a 3M scuff pad that's gonna get any little burrs and stuff out of it once I sand that down I'm gonna clean it with a glass cleaner wipe it all off then we'll tack it down to get any residue left from there now this is my mixing machine you guys may have seen this before um, this is going to be painted with a satin paint. You can see there. In this particular case, it's just going to be that paint straight. There's no mixture of anything. Now I have to uh, reduce it and put a hardener in it. So this system has its own hardener and reducer. And Basically, it's a three-part paint, one part hardener, one part reducer. You can see there on my cup, 311. So, whichever number I go to, I correspond with the uh, proper hardener and reducer. Now, over here, I have up gallons of lacquer thinner, waste, and not. Uh, here, you got my paint strainers my sticks so I'm ready to go I already had one coat on so now I'm just showing you the second coat this again is a two coat process and by hanging it you get all sides now you can see it looks glossy right now but once it dries it will be a much more satin finish but that literally just got painted Alright, so now it's out of the booth. I'm going to scuff it down and then also use glass cleaner to wipe off any of those dust particles. And the reason I sand it, it's very lightly I sand it with like a 1200 just to deburr any little dirt specks or anything that may have gotten on there. I'm pretty particular so I want this thing to be as flawless as possible. I just put a box in the back that way it's it keeps it up so I'm not working on an angle. I'm gonna go ahead and tack this thing off again. Now being this is a metal control panel, I'm able to use magnets. And this is polycarbonate on top, so it's very, very durable. I made this all in one piece. You see how these magnets just hold it in place. Try 
trying to line up, you can kind of feel through and feel the holes to know if you're lined up correctly or not. Once I'm happy with this position of where it is, I'm going to put a couple more magnets just to secure it in place. And I'm going to top, I'm going to start in on the top and work our way that way. So basically you're going to pull it back. And this does have the bubble free vinyl, so it's easy to apply. Now again, I always stress that I don't like to tear this back. I like to cut this. So I recommend you getting a nice sharp knife and just make a nice cut. Don't cut into your panel. You just cut it clean. Cut it straight, roughly. It don't have to be perfect, but you don't want it to be like a freaking zigzagging over there. Retack it again because that thing's been exposed. And the stuff is pretty stiff, so you don't have to worry about it flip-flopping all over the place. Just apply pressure as you go down. The applying of this is very easy. We're going to worry about trimming and doing all that after we get it all on there. So now that you got the top half on, we're going to remove the back from the rest of it. Retack the surface again. Once you get to this bend, you're going to want to use your hand and then just kind of roll it, roll it in. Let the material just relax as you go down. And then you can continue forward again with just applying pressure as it goes down. Now for the fun part of trying to get it in and around these bends. So the same thing again, we're going to follow our finger and just little by little work it around to the edge. Now because of this hard V, or where it, it comes into another 90 you want to keep it out you see how my hand is keeping it away from that surface because it's going to want to touch there obviously before you can get that one edge all the way tucked in there so keep trying to work that outwards otherwise you're going to have like a pocket in that spot now i'm trying to put a little more pressure just on that corner before I squeeze you the top part. Get that seam in there real nice, then you can continue with the top. Now vinyl has a memory, um, when, once you heat it to a point, then it kind of like resets its, its place. So what we're going to do is use a heat gun and try to heat that all up afterwards. Now we're just cutting the edges. And that's it guys. This is a finished product with polycarbonate material. I hope you enjoyed this video and this may help some guys out um, on the control panel. That was a customers that I sent out already. And this is what it looks like finished. Thanks for watching. See you next time.